Hey Capricorn, happy birthday to you guys. Welcome. It's Teresa with your Path bringing you your birthday spread for the upcoming year. We go in and we ask Spirit what is the most important message for you to receive for that specific month and we pull one card and we'll go over that and then we follow up with an overview for the entire reading using David's fabulous Astral Soul, Astral Soul cards and we'll talk about these in a little bit. If you guys don't know me, my name is Teresa. I do work with Cindy at Your Indigo Path. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. If you happen to be looking for additional services, please check the links below or go to yourindigopath.com. Also, when checking out, if you prefer that I do your reading, just simply type my name in the comment section. I'll be sure to get the message and I'll get to you as quickly as possible. So thank you so much for that. And guys, if you don't know, you should know because we're so proud of it. We are sponsored by the fabulous Star Ackerman and IK Multimedia. They provide the iClip and the iRig Mic Lob. We are so grateful to them. Guys, they offer so many services and products. Um, they work with a lot of people in the music industry. So please check them out at ikmultimedia.com. And most importantly, and as always, every single day, I am honestly grateful to Spirit for being chosen to be the vessel they use to get these messages across for everyone searching and seeking. So thank you, Spirit, and thank you for being with us. All right, guys, here we go. Are you ready? I know it's exciting, isn't it, right? Um, sorry. Okay. In the month of December, my lovely, beautiful Capricorns, you've got the Judgment card. Now, the Judgment doesn't necessarily mean you're judging others or you're being judged. It just means that your judgment is now based whenever you judge something out, you are more aware of your guides of spirit you're looking at a bigger picture you're no longer looking at one speck at one entity you're looking at everything we do have a much bigger picture and awakening on this planet we're all part of it but if you'll notate you've got spirit in here helping guide your decisions when it is time to decide, make a choice, or honestly make a judgment. You're usually not very judgmental, but if you happen to be now, know for certain that your guides are with you. That's what I feel about your card in the month of December. And with it also being a very spiritual month for many with the, with the holidays and the new year coming around, you are feeling very joyous, joy, joyous, joyful, and blessed at this time and you do know that your angels and your guides are right there with you and that's very comforting to you to know okay Capricorns look at you as we start out January are you ready for this 2017 look at you you've got the Emperor card oh my goodness this is putting our best foot forward standing respectfully and righteously we're not rude we're not egotistical we're proud we've worked hard to get where we are this is like everybody makes their new year's resolution but this is about you understanding that you are proud you are respected you are influential and important to so many people around you look at all the love look at all the friends and the family that that encase you and they're close to you now i grant you may not see everybody every day that's the truth but you are an important figure even if it's just in your community you are relevant to so many people so congratulations what a great way to start the new year all right, in February, <laughs> Kathy, I think you're celebrating a little bit. That's what I feel with this card. You've got the Nine of Cups. I feel like it's good times. 
um, you're going out and having a good time. You're indulging, and I don't mean overindulging. You're just treating yourself well. You're making sure that um, when you do go out, you're in the moment. You're not just going through the moment. You're in the moment, living it, loving it, and having a wonderful time with all of everyone around you and the entire environment. So congratulations. That's great. That's just really great because a lot of times people just like go through the, you know, if they have an event, they just like, example, you go to a wedding, you get dressed up, you go to the wedding, you go to the reception, you go home, boom. No, you're relishing it. You're having a seriously good time in every moment with everyone. So yay, I'm so happy for you. In March, my Cappies, wow, you got the four, uh, four of cups in reverse. Now what I feel with this card is you're planning, yeah. In March, I feel like you're planning something. Um, I feel like you're planning probably a vacation because I feel like I feel relaxation with this card. Yeah, I'm feeling like you're thinking and you know it's going to take this much, the cups or how much it's going to cost or whatever, or how many people, what it's going to take, who's going to go, all of this. But you're like, oh yeah. I'm going to have me a peaceful, relaxing vacay somewhere. And that's what you're thinking about in the month of March. Look at you. You are going to enjoy it greatly because you, obviously, dudes, I may be, I'm picking up on a cruise and I may be out of my mind, but I'm picking up on a cruise because you are going, you're thinking about this giant cup serving you and you're just sitting back on your chase lounge and enjoying the environment and you love that somebody is waiting on you because you work so hard all the time so you're going to really enjoy this so you're you're definitely putting a lot of forethought into this this trip okay so congratulations on vacay i love that so moving right along in april capcorn Wow, look, temperance in reverse. Something magical is going on. April. Something magical. Something like, almost like your awareness goes up. Like, There's a shift in your frequency because you are getting more into, I keep calling it the big picture, but you're getting more aware of the universe, the world, people. But this is more like a universal, like the huge entity of everything. So I feel like this is a it's like a spark it's like a spiritual awakening it's like taking you your frequency higher and higher and you're elevating so that you can embrace and understand reach and and really wow really grow grow your awakenings congratulations that's lovely in may I've got the three of swords. Now, a lot of people want to jump, and it's in reverse. So a lot of people want to, and that's another thing I'll tell you, if the, the cards come up in reverse, don't worry. They really, I go by what I feel off the card. I don't necessarily go with the traditional meaning, you know, by the book of what the card, what, you know, what they recommend. But I go by what I feel. So when you see your cards in reverse, don't freak out. Let's just go with it and see what Spirit has to say about it. In May, you have the Three of Swords in reverse. I'm not necessarily feeling that this is a heartbreak because the first thing everybody goes, oh my gosh, there's somebody involved in my relationship. There's a third wheel in my relationship. Well, maybe. But your relationship's not necessarily 
a love relationship. It could be if you love your job or your hobby or your community, it could be that there was a difference of opinion and you guys just couldn't meet in the middle over it. Or it could mean the traditional, there's a third party involved in your personal relationship, but I'm not really feeling that. I think it's just across uh, there has been a difference of opinion. This is the difference here between two entities and with the with it being a reverse You guys are going to agree to disagree. That's just the bottom line. There's like no meeting in the middle You both have your opinion. You both have your have stated how you feel. This is this is the reason that you are in this situation, but you agree to disagree. So that is like, that again is a growing potential for so many people. A lot of people don't understand that, you know, agree to disagree. That's just allowing everybody their own free will. So good. And like I said, I really don't feel like it's a heartbreak. I don't feel like it's a love relation. I don't think this is in the area of your love relationship with your mate. I don't feel that. I feel like it's like a two people. It could be with your sibling. It could be with your parents. It could be with your coworker. There is a, a crossing of opinion about one entity, but it, it all works out because you agree to disagree. Okay? So don't hang on to that too much or go too deeply onto that. June, Ace of Cups in reverse. This is where you notice that my emotions, Capricorn, your emotions have been a little depleted lately. Maybe it's because you are expanding, you are growing. Maybe it's because of this disagreement but you recognize that you need to put a little more effort into your satisfaction of emotions. You're pretty calm about it, but you do know that there's more to life than just, you know, nine to five, clocking in, clocking out, and getting a paycheck at the end of the week. You are very keen on that. You like life and you love to enjoy big things in life. So you're looking at, okay, time to put feel my happy emotions back up, so I'm going to work on that. That's what I'm feeling with this card. In July, we have the Seven of Wands. What I really feel about this is, Capricorn, you guys are very righteous, and you are very, you have very deep beliefs. With this it's also about balancing, but this is lit here. This would be you standing in the doorway. You say, okay, I'm not going to fight with all you guys over this because I know this is from a higher source. If you hear my dog barking, I do apologize. He just likes to tell everybody what to do. Um, with this column being lit, you're ready to protect it. You're ready to stand your ground should you need to stand your ground. Because you've got all these people questioning this entity, this question. This could be, wow, I keep going back to work with you guys. Um, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of you are heavy duty workers and you work a lot of hours because I feel like this has to do with work. So I'm feeling like there's something that maybe these are your co-workers, they're ready to go up in arms about it, but you're ready to defend it because it is right, it is fair, and it is the new rule of the company, and that's the way it's going to be. That I kind of get that, that you're going to stand up for, yeah, I feel like you're a company person, you're going to get them, you know, hold everybody at bay and explain to them, this is a change, this is what we're going to, this is how it's going to work out, and it's all going to be fine in the end for everybody, so good for you. I also feel like a lot of you guys are in management or upper assistant manager management, but you're of, an, of a somewhat of an authoritative figure in your place of employment, okay? 
in August. I've got you guys as the, um, you're dealing with the King of Cups. Again, if you look at the two pillars here, this is all about a balancing and Yeah, you're tired. You've been working. This is about a balancing. You're ready for that vacay <laughs> that you, we were talking about. Feeling your emotion, happy emotions here. Are you playing that vacation back here? It must. We must be getting close to vacay time because you're you're like okay, I'm holding on as long as I can, and I'm being responsible, and I'm being realistic, and I'm doing my all of my obligations for my regarding my home, my community, my my work everything's that you're doing your best to hold it on because you're tired obviously but you're ready to go you're ready to go have fun and that's you're just this is the last month before i think you yeah i think you're gonna break loose next on the following month so hold on guys you're getting there you're getting there so congratulations for your patience most importantly that's wonderful Sorry, my camera tipped a little, a little for me there. Okay. September, that must be when you guys are going on vacation. I've got the Ace of Wands. This is when it happens, kids. It looks like September has the, been the long awaited break. You have worked so hard, you've grown emotionally spiritually you've um, planned for this for a long time uh, you've worked hard you do you're hard hard workers but it looks like it looks like September is vacay month or relaxing month hopefully you're with the love of your life on this vacation because it's a little hot and heated guys if not you may be meeting someone on your vacay congratulations because it's fast, it's fun, it's in, it's exciting, it's everything you planned for way back here is now coming to surface up in September. So congratulations, that's awesome. Because in October, I'm telling you, take, the, take it and run. Do everything you can on this vacation because you, you're really, I mean, get your money's worth. That's what I'll tell you. October, you guys are the fool. This is getting back to basics. This is starting over. Here you go, look at this. Looks like um, we could have had so much fun here and now the reality check of having to go back to the grind is here in our face. So, can you do it? Obviously you can do it. You are, you're like the mastermind. Like I said, I just feel like you guys are an authoritative figure in your, in your employment, for those of you working. And you're back to juggling family and friends you're, I mean, at this point, because you had such a great vacation, you could do a hula hoop with fire on it and you'd be fine because you're so relaxed from that well-deserved vacation. But this is about getting back to the grind, getting back to the basic, getting everything back in order and, go, and you know, going back to the reality of let's go back to work, let's get back in, in uh, on our schedule. That's all that's about. So, you you know, you can do it, that's how you do. You, you work hard, you plan, you play hard, and then you get right back to it, so that's good. November, Cappies, you've got the Strength card in reverse. So this just means that you are, <laughs> you're still looking ahead. Guys, you are looking ahead. You're getting ready to go right back over here and plan for next year's big giant adventure. Congratulations. That's awesome the strength I mean with it I don't feel like you need so much strength it's just like you know what to do you know how to plan these things you know how to make them happen so this is awesome it's just like okay I've got I'm gonna do what I have to do make my plans and I'm gonna go back out on my next adventure and I'm gonna love every minute of it so congratulations that's lovely now guys um, the overall message that I pulled for you guys, these are the astral soul cards made by our very own David for your indigo path. These are also available. If you check the links below, you can get them. You've got the nature card. 
Now, what this implies to me is you are on your path. You are seriously on your path. See, this is your path. And you're so busy being on this path, you know, here's the grass, here's the earth, here's the mountains, that sometimes you're so busy focusing on what, you know, the, the word wants to co say, come out nose to the grindstone. You're so focused on what you have to get done that sometimes you forget to water those around you. So you may have, you've, you've done great growth. You have done wonderful awakening, expanding. You're enjoying the moments. You're not just going through moments, you're enjoying moments. You're planning, you're seeing, you're, you're feeling the universe. You're feeling it. You're still righteous. You're still doing everything great. But don't forget, this can be you. This, while you're on your path, don't forget to take care of yourself because you know that's really what your reading is saying is that you work so hard, you try to keep everything in perspective, you plan, you work, you plan, you defend, you get tired, you go have a great time, you get back to it and you go on. This is all about self-nurturing, okay? It's nature. Yes, you're on the right path. And you are self-nurturing because the buds are coming up on this tree. And maybe you haven't taken care of yourself in a very long time. But remember, Cappies, you guys work so hard. You deserve it. So take care of yourself. So thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed your birthday spread. And I hope it resonates. Thank you again. My name is Teresa. I do work with Cindy at Your Indigo Path. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. If you're looking for additional services, please check the links below or go to yourindigopath.com. And when ordering, if you would like me to do your, your readings, simply put my name in the comment section and I'll be sure to get the message and get to you as quickly as possible. Guys, again, we are sponsored by the fabulous, awesome Star Ackerman. In IK Multimedia, please check out their products, products and services at ikmultimedia.com. And if you just happen to be Periscope users, hop on over there. Follow me at Terry Gary, T-E-R-E-G-E-A-R-Y. I'm live two to three times a week, every week for one hour. We'll do one card or one question, one card answer for an hour. It's, a, it's fun on Mondays. It's a, it's a general session, great way to get the week going Wednesdays is hump day <laughs> so you know it's like let's get on we're almost to the weekend and on Friday of course it's the love scope for your upcoming weekend so thank you so much Capricorn I hope you enjoyed it we'll see you soon and have a fabulous birthday year and it looks good it looks like you guys are are, are really you're, you're going, you're going and planning and you're still carrying on in a righteous, in a fabulous way. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.